Welcome to Tech Brothers Adama. In this video, we are going to learn how to add or drop columns in a table by using Who's to Query. So there are a couple of ways that we can do that. We can use the dot alter merge or we can use the dot alter table. So there are some differences between these two commands. And honestly, I I, I prefer to use dot alter merge because the dot alter table has some drawbacks and I will show you why exactly and that I already have pointed this out here. So let's go ahead and take a look on the definitions first. So columns that does not exist and which you, use, you would specify are added at the end of the existing schema. So if you want to add those columns, just uh, you're going to add that and uh, they will be added to the end of the schema. And uh, now if the past schema does not contain some table columns, the column wouldn't be deleted. So that's a good thing. If you are not specifying all the columns in the alter table, so those columns will not be deleted. But that's the other way around in the alter table. So if you would not provide the list of the columns, they will be considered like, oh, you want to delete them and, and they will be deleted. So that's why I was saying like, I will go with alter merge uh, instead of going with the alter table. Okay, so if you specify an existing column with a different data type, the call command will fail. So you can't really change the data type here. Okay, with the alter table, what's the case? The alter, the table will have exactly the same columns in the same order as specified. Specify the table columns. Okay, so you have to specify the columns in the exact same order where which is shown in this schema. So you can take a look on the definition on the table and specify in the same order. If you would not, and let's say you shuffle the order, it will rearrange them. Okay, so if existing columns aren't specified in the command, they will be dropped and data in those columns will be lost, like the drop column command. So if uh, let's say you need to add a column, uh, you are adding a column, but you missed one of the col existing column, and you did not provide in the list, that column will be deleted. So actually your goal is not to drop the column, you wanted to actually add the column, but somehow you missed that column in the list when you are doing an alter table. And what happened, then that column will be dropped. So you that's one of the drawback here. Uh, or you will be very, very uh, careful if you want to use this one. When you alter a table, altering uh, column type isn't supported. So you can't really make data type change here. We can uh, use the dot alter column command uh, instead. We'll use this one in the next uh, demo. Let's go ahead and uh, look on this one uh, in real uh, world, how exactly these guys are going to work. So first of all, uh, see, uh, I'm, I'm uh, going to demonstrate uh, alter uh, merge command here. So what we will do, we will create our table called create table and the table name my table and I have a column called ID and data type integer. So I'm going to execute this statement and it's adding a column. So you can see right there, my table is created and this is my column. Now we will insert some data here. We are going to use dot in just inline into table, my table, and then uh, less than sign and um, uh, pipe sign and then put the actual value of that that we would like to ingest or put or insert. Okay, so that's completed and now what we will see, we are going to select this my table and run it. It will show us the data in that table. Now think about that, I need to add two more columns. In this case, I would like to add name and address. So I can simply say dot alter merge, yeah, that's the command I need to use. Then we say table and my table name. So that's actual table name, whatever. And then you have a column name, type of the column, second column, type of the column. Simply you will say that and uh, go ahead and execute. And uh, what's gonna happen is gonna run this statement and then uh, it is added. We can select my column again and run it. You can see that uh, the data is still staying there. Nothing happened, but two more columns has been added. Now let's insert some data in these uh, columns as well. So I'm going to insert another record with 101 ID and then uh, my name Amir and fake address. Uh, so let's execute this and now that's executed and we can see the data. We can select this uh, my table and see there are two rows. Uh, now if uh, the let's say we would like to add another column right here. So you notice that I did not provide ID while I was uh, doing this. Uh, so I'm adding a new column uh, phone number here. So if you even provide these columns or don't provide, this is not really going to matter. So in this case, what I did, I did not provide 
one of the column let's say we did not provide name and id column and uh, this is the only new column this is existing column we just pasted it there but uh, this is the existing call uh, a new column we would like to add so if we will do that what happened it will go ahead and add that column to it and would not drop any column from the table so now we can go ahead and uh, take a look on this uh, right there see so new column is added data exists as it is so it's, this is pretty safe when you need to use uh, uh dot alter merge now in this case uh, if we will uh, try to do let's say in the data type uh, phone number if i will say this is my existing uh, phone number column there let me change the data type by using on dot alter merge if i will try to do that it's going to throw me an error okay so you can't really change the data type here so that's one of the thing now we are going to use alter table that's more dangerous and we know that why because of the second part of it if you do not provide the existing column in the list it will drop so first of all we are going to create a table called customer with customer id and now we created the table and we are going to ingest some data in the customer table so id and then i'm going to select the data so my customer ID is equal to 100, that's my table. And now what we will do, let's uh, see the schema. So that's one of the very important thing I will suggest you. So you want to see the schema because especially in the case of a dot alter table, okay? So you wanna uh, have that schema here. Let's say you run it and now you see that uh, it comes uh, with the column. Right now I have only one column, but also you will see the sequence of the, how these uh, columns are presented. So I will uh, rerun this one again. And show you as well now let's add let's say customer name and address the two columns to it if i will go ahead and execute now what you see right there as i did not provide the customer id in this list what's going to happen that column will be dropped so if i will go and execute this customer and you will see there is no data because that column was not provided here in the list the customer id and it is dropped so there is no customer id here so every time you make a change you always have to have or provide all the columns otherwise those columns will be dropped okay so now look at this guy here i have a customer name and address right so what we can do uh, let me actually insert some data here so let's do that now we have inserted the data here and now I went ahead and customer name is Amir and address is fake address. See right there. Okay. Now if I will say alter table and just shuffle the uh, uh, the column uh, position. So here is the address, right? I made this first and then the second column is customer name. And uh, what's going to happen? If I run it, uh, it's going to rearrange that. So that's what I'm saying. You want to see this schema over and over and make sure what you are doing, you're, you're understanding that. So in this case, so let's see. Right now we see that the customer name is first and then you have a address after that. But if a while I was making changes, I totally forgot. I just put it there and I did a run alter. What's going to happen? Let's go ahead and take a look. Now if you execute this customer table, data stayed as it is, but the arrangements of the column has changed. Now address become the first column and the customer name has become the second column. And that is okay. You know, you can live with it, but if you will have drop or something that is very hard to bring it back, right? So now let's say if you want to add existing column, customer name, and the address already exists and here is your phone number that's what you would like to add so that's what i was saying uh, you would like to always keep the things in the same sequence so you never mess up with anything so in this case if we i'm gonna just cut this here as address is the first column so i'm gonna have the address as the first column then i'm going to put my second column that's my customer name and then this is my new column so if i'll go ahead and execute this it will execute now let's uh, check the data and uh, the data does exist in those two columns and the new column has been added now we can go ahead and uh, uh, insert some more data because we have phone number here as well so i'm going to go ahead and insert some data here right so let's uh, take a look on the customer table again and uh, here is our customer that has uh, those that's data already exists and this is a new data coming through now if you want to drop the column how you do that so dropping column is the very easy so just exclude that column that you would like to delete from the table so in this case 
A4 we have address. So in uh, this case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in the right position. So let's uh, even let's leave this one customer name string first. So we'll rearrange this guy customer name first and address comes second. But for, for the phone number, we just uh, don't mention it here. Once you don't mention it here, it means it will be deleted. OK, so we are running alter table customer and uh, then we have this column. So we provided uh, it is a second second in the sequence, but we provided first and the address is the uh, first, but we provided it second and we missed one column phone number because we want to delete it. If we execute, uh, let's see what happened. Let's execute and now check the data. So see, it has a range of the columns the way we want it. Okay, and then uh, uh, that looks good, but the phone number has gone from the table. So make sure uh, you, uh, depending upon your need, you know, you use the uh, alter table uh, with the merge or you use uh, just simply alter table, but uh, always make sure if you are using alter table and uh, make sure you have to provide a list of all the columns and then a new column if you're adding uh, and if you need to remove, you will simply add all the columns uh, but exclude that column that you would like to uh, drop from your tab table definition. Um, I hope uh, this video will help and what I will do, I will uh, add these notes in the description so you can take and practice from there. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.